Uganda has had a significant increase in online media reporting for over the past years now standing at over 200, paving the way for the rise of citizen reporting as opposed to mainstream media. However, this has resulted in anyone creating a fake account instantly and using it for their ulterior motives, including malicious and evil intentions such as sending and self content, pornography, terrorism, hate speech, incitement of violence, offensive communication, cyberbullying, throwing, and defamation. However, with a growing rate at which the country's image is tainted abroad as a result of negative reporting the government once, reformed journalists are ready to front the principal patriotism and report positively about the country. According to Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, the Minister for Rice City and National Guidance, negative reports about the country have cost it a big price. You as a media practitioner, how do you do your work of reporting but mindful of the fact that you don't want to damage the image of Uganda. That's the question that we are grappling with. And as <coughs> agreed, I think we shall have many more engagements and see how best we can work together. But nobody is saying you should tell lies, you should falsify. No, nobody is saying that. Dr. Chris Wariomusi made a remarks during a media consultative dialogue on Uganda's political, economic and security landscape at the National ICT Hub in Nakawa with the discussions focusing on the theme, media that works for Uganda in a global setting. We have consistency and trust within the sources of this information we are talking about. During the dialogue, journalists raised a number of issues regarding the topic with some questioning the difference between reporting positive and actuality. Journalists, we become unpatriotic and, uh, you know, or patriotic and uh, defend the image of the country and also become unpatriotic and deny the nation good information. At what stage? Thank you. Imagine someone developing a story of never rehabilitating the wetland. That's a positive story. But then, how are we bringing out the story of the people who are suffering in that state? Some would report the truth as it is, saying they can never be compromised to conceal the truth in the name of positive reporting. We are not priests to preach to people not to do bad, but those who intend to do bad should be told to make sure you are not discovered. Strangers walk into schools and shoot what? And shoot the students. Mm. But this, this has not stopped the world, including Ugandans, uh, from flocking to US. But why is it that uh, when uh, a, a maybe a tourist is killed in Uganda, then we start thinking that, oh, now this story shouldn't have come up because it's going to stop tourists. I think it's also about power dynamics. However, according to Dr. Chris Mariomonsi, it is an obligation of every citizen, journalist inclusive, to portray a good image of the country abroad. He concurs with the need to coordinate and regulate the media which he says has overgrown over the time, making regulation difficult. When we opened up the space and we have 320 radio stations, didn't we open too much? Can our economy hold those many radios, because I can tell you, many of the radio stations are struggling financially. But why positively reporting about the country and what can be done to solve the issue? Sarah Kajingo, the vice chairperson, private sector foundation Uganda, had a hinted level of discussion about this. The majority of young people are digitally proficient, digitally fluent, that they will not wait for you to communicate, but also. If they go take to social media to speak about the concerns eh, um, they have, say, maybe portals or anything that is happening, it's not a crime because the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda uh, provides for, for, for freedom of expression. Of when asked about the government's position in regards to corruption and the speaker's remarks on how corruption is good, as long as one shares the cake with his or her kinsmen, but he almost made it clear that the government will advocate to zero tolerance to the vice. That is probably her personal opinion that does not reflect the opinion of government. The government's position is zero tolerance to corruption irrespective of who you are or which position you hold in society. 
and the government has opened a new page on this fight against corruption and the, the war is on. With the internet and citizen journalism growing at a high rate in the country, there is a lot needed to be done to promote patriotism reporting as this is the only way to promote the country both within and abroad. John Baptista Humza, Church of Uganda, Family TV News at 8.